In this module you are expected to determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. What I need to know. Matter is composed of tiny particles called atoms, which consist of charges that can either be positive or negative. These charges can be held together by an attractive force. Let's do what I know activity. In this activity you will write the atomic number, mass number and number of neutrons. Write the symbol for the following isotopes. Let's do what's in activity. In this activity you will write the names of the following common element and compounds. In this activity you will enumerate the common elements and compounds you encounter in your daily activities. In this activity we're going to unscramble the following words in each sentence. Let's watch the video for us to understand what makes up an atom. There are 118 different kinds of atoms, which are each the smallest part of an element. If we observe elements like gold, carbon, and oxygen, we can see that they have very different properties that don't look or act the same. But why are they so different? Well, it comes down to what's inside their atoms. As you can see here, atoms are made of just three types of tiny particles called protons, electrons, and neutrons. And each of these tiny particles does something special. For example, it's the number of protons inside an atom that makes each element different. If we look at the periodic table, the first element, hydrogen, has one proton. The second element, helium, has two protons. And the third element, lithium, has three protons. This goes on all the way up to the 118th element, Oganesson, which has, that's right, 118 protons in its nucleus. By the way, the number of protons in an atom is also called its atomic number, which you can see here on the periodic table of elements. Now electrons are much smaller than protons, and they zip around protons at lightning speed making up something called an electron cloud around the atom. Electrons do this because they have a negative electrical charge, which always pulls towards the proton's positive electrical charge. This pull between the positive protons and the negative electrons is called the electric force, and it's always there. So whenever a free electron gets close enough to a lonely proton, zap, they'll become part of the same atom. That's why all the elements have the same number of electrons and protons. So why do atoms need neutrons? Well, without neutrons, the electric force will cause the positively charged protons to push each other out of the atom. But there's a stronger force 
that exists between neutrons and protons, which stops the protons from flying apart. It's called the strong nuclear force, or strong force for short. And it kind of works like glue to hold the nucleus together. If there were no neutrons, everything would simply be hydrogen. Now, let's have the importance of ions in the body. In an atom, the number of electron equals the number of protons. If electrons are removed or added to a neutral atom, a charged particle of the element is called an ion. A cat ion, an ion with a positive charge is formed when an electron is removed from the atom. While an anion negatively charged ion is formed when electron is added to the atom. The body requires electrolytes to function. These electrolytes, when dissolved in water, becomes ions. Ions are necessary for the action potential that occur in muscles and nerves. Here are some ions that perform a certain functions in our body. What makes up an atom? Atoms are made up of subatomic particles which are the protons, electrons, neutrons. Protons are positively charged particles. Electrons are negatively charged particles. And, neutrons which are neutral charged positive or negative. 2. How would you determine the number of protons, neutrons and electrons of a particular atom? The atomic number corresponds to the number of protons and electrons. While neutron is determined by subtracting atomic number from atomic mass. Let's do what's more activity. Complete the table. Question number one, how do atoms of various elements different from one another? By having a unique number given to an element is called atomic number or the number of protons, there is no two elements that have the same atomic number and the same number of protons in their nuclei of their atoms. Question number two, how are atoms of the same similar element different from one another? What do you call these atoms? Atoms of an element that have the same element but differ in mass are called isotopes of that chemical element. An atom of isotope is called a nuclei. Let's do what I have learned. It's assessment time.
and for the additional activity write the number of protons neutrons and electrons on the following elements That ends our lesson for today. See you again next time. Please don't forget to click the like button. And subscribe to this channel for more updates.